It was all smiles and joy as 51 girls from various senior high schools in the Nkranza South Municipality successfully went through a five-day practical engagement in a science, technology, engineering and mathematics clinic organized by the U.S. Ghana Association alumni. According to the students, they used to have a lot of fears and difficulties in STEM subjects. I, I was even told at JHS that science is very difficult, but I tried to do and see whether it's true. And I noticed it's very, a bit difficult. So I, I wanted even to stop at my at when I was JHS one. But for now, it seems it's going well. According to UNICEF, girls' participation in science, technology, engineering and mathematics subjects in secondary schools are lower than that of boys. Gender disparities influence this, including a false belief among girls and their families that science-related subjects are more suited for boys. As a lady, sometimes you have a lot of work to do. So comparing to you to become a science student, it will be very difficult for you to get time to do such things at home. Something, something like household choice. You go and fetch water at the same time, being a science student, it won't help you. So sometimes this can become a discourage for you to leave the science aspect. The girl is no different from the boy when it comes to intelligence. And therefore, they cannot not pursue the course that they want to pursue or the science courses for example so it's more of encouragement 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 sometimes they will also say that eh, the girls after all they will hurry up and then they'll marry i mean i'm married i'm a medic there are a lot of others who are in science fields who are married with children and living their lives Ivan Soday is a teacher at Dachimata SHS and part of the 10 best teachers in the world, according to UNESCO's Global Teacher Prize. He says that a great deal of effort is needed to change this narrative. It's the way we paint the subject, for more or less mathematics. Everybody thinks math is for boys, science is for boys. It's the art that the girls are supposed to. And so it has been a perception that people carry. And I'm sure that has been the fundamental problem. But then also, sometimes, the way we handle the subject in the classroom and how we handle girls, you know, sometimes it's difficult for them to sit for a while to learn math and understand. So we, the teacher, must always encourage them. Find every way to pull them to understand that the thing is not difficult. And you know, ladies would have loved to see practical things, but we don't do the practical aspect of it. And so we always want them to memorize something that they don't even understand. The STEM clinic sends 51 female students from senior high schools in Inkranza South through practical robotics, mathematics and science lessons. According to the Ghana Education Service, students from deprived communities in Ghana are six times less likely to access secondary education. This number is even lower for girls in most rural schools. More thus needs to be done to attract and facilitate female participation, especially in STEM fields. My message and the message of the Alumni Association to the rural girl is that dream big. You are no different from the girl in the city in terms of intelligence, in terms of ability. You can do it. Reporting from Inkaranza, I am Michael Chachua Holly for City News.